year, everybody. We are currently living in the year 2022. That kind of freaks me out. Did you know that we're closer to the year 2050 than we are in 1990? That should freak everybody out. I hope you all had a good 2021 because I know that I didn't. Well, kind of, that's not really true. Even though 2021 was like the top three worst years of my life, there was still a lot of good that came out of it. I got my dog Astro, I met my boyfriend Maddie. I hit so many huge milestones in my career. I got 1 million on YouTube and I got the plaque that I've been working towards for years. I also hit 1 million on Instagram and I currently have 16.7 million followers. That doesn't even feel real. Sometimes I worry that I'm still taking that nap that I took in kindergarten and I just haven't woken up yet and this has all been one huge fever dream. But until I wake up, I guess I'll just keep pushing on. And part of pushing on is trying to be better. And what better day to start trying to be better than the first day of the new year? So I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my new year's resolutions. And not like the cliche resolutions, you know, like I wanna be healthy and work out more and read more books and be more organized and be nicer to people because we all know that everybody says that every single year, but like how many of us actually follow through with it to the end of the year? That's what I thought. And while those are all really good goals to have, I wanted to try and sit down and find my real New Year's resolutions. You know, it's, it's about to get deep, but not too deep because I've been emotionally inept since like 2014. I wanna exercise my right to have Taco Tuesdays. When it comes to food, I either order out or I eat ramen for like a week straight. And in 2022, I am finally ready to say no more. I'm gonna start cooking my own food, good food healthy food, okay? Not eating out garbage all the time. And with that, I wanna make tacos on Tuesdays. You get it. I wanna drink less coffee because coffee gives me the shits. I don't know how so many people are drinking this every morning of every single day. Like it fucks my stomach up. So I'm switching to tea. I wanna stop doom scrolling on social media, okay? Because I work in social media, I like to give myself the excuse that I could just scroll for hours doing research, but I know that's bullshit. I don't get anything done. It's not productive and I need to stop that shit. I think I average like 10 to 12 hours a day on my phone. If I can get that down to like nine and a half, I'll be happy. I wanna get more tattoos, okay? I said it last year that I wanna get more tattoos. And to be fair, I got like 14 new tattoos this year, but it's not enough. Those are rookie numbers. I need more tattoos. I wanna be completely covered. And at this rate, I'm not gonna be completely covered until I'm like 60. I wanna get better at friendships. And what I mean by this is I have the tendency to focus on myself, like everybody does, but I have a hard time finding, keeping, and then maintaining relationships with people because I, get, I, I just get so tunnel visioned into my own shit and then with like ADHD time blindness, by the time I realize I haven't texted somebody back, it's been like four months and then I feel shitty because what I did was shitty and I don't know, that's just something I need to consciously work on. I need to get a better skin routine. I'm gonna be 23 years old. I'm tired of acne, I'm tired of the pimples. I know you're looking at my face and it's like really not that bad, but like the littlest things just bother me. I need to use all the moisturizer and figure this shit out. Stretching, oh my God, my back always hurts and I know it's because of my posture and I'm trying to work on it, but like, I don't know. I just need to move my body a little bit more. I need to stretch. I don't want to do full on yoga cause that seems excessive, but like, I don't know. I just want to be able to touch my toes without crying in pain. I want to stop responding to negative comments because I have an awful reputation online that I'm very aware of and I know that it's there because I used to be this very hateful, angry person that would just argue, not for things that I believed in, but just for the sake of arguing. And I would say things purely for the shock value of it without thinking of the consequences. And while I know I've changed that part of me through years of therapy, I'm still working on being less reactive and learning to let things go because a lot of the issues and drama that I have online could have been avoided if I just didn't react or respond to these negative people. If you've ever met me in real life, you know that my online reputation precedes me in the worst way. And I know who I am, but I really do wanna try and fix how people see me. And I think not responding to negativity is a necessary step that I need to take. I wanna focus on YouTube, okay? Right now, I'm like 70% TikTok, 30% YouTube. And I need that to flip. Like, I love TikTok, I love short form content, but it's so, 
unstable and YouTube feels safe, but it's more difficult and that that's fine. Like I know if I just threw all my energy at making long form content for you guys, that the possibilities for this channel are endless and I'm excited for that and I need to work towards that. Yeah, I also wanna start streaming on Twitch again. And finally, my last New Year's resolution, I wanna be more optimistic, but I doubt that'll happen. There you go guys, there is all my New Year's resolutions. Be sure to check back here in about 365 days to see if I kept with any of them. Speaking of which, let's see what last New Year's resolution was. Get more muscles and more tattoos. Okay, well, I uh, didn't get the muscles, but I definitely got the tattoos. See, I got a whole bunch of tattoos and I got even more on my back and my legs. But yeah, the muscles, we'll, we'll, we'll try again next year. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. And let me know down in the comments what your New Year's resolutions are because I'm excited to read through those. I hope your 2022 sucks less than 2021. And with that, I'll see you guys next week.